Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. On Wednesday, the Sussexes volunteered with Los Angeles non profit Baby to Baby, which provides local families and kids living in poverty with necessities like diapers, wipes and clothes. The charity has already distributed over 30 million items during the pandemic. Baby to Baby was one of the four organizations chosen by the Sussexes to celebrate the 2019 birth of Archie. Fun fact, Megan's face mask is by Royal Jelly NYC, a black, female-founded company in New York City, a Baby to Baby rep said. We are so grateful to be on site during the most unique back-to-school week in history distributing directly to those who have been disproportionately impacted by COVID-19 and are struggling to afford the basic necessities they rely on school to provide. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have volunteered at a back-to-school charity event in what marks their first charity engagement since lockdown. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, both wearing face coverings, distributed supplies, clothes and nappies at a drive through run by Los Angeles charity Baby to Baby which provides basic necessities for families in need. Pictures show the couple handing supplies in through the windows of vehicles at Dr. Owen Lloyd Knox Elementary School in South Los Angeles on Wednesday. The couple cut casual figures, with Megan sporting loose cocky shorts with a white shirt and trainers, and Harry going for a similar look plus a baseball cap. The volunteering comes after it emerged the couple had bought a property in the celebrity hotspot of Santa Barbara for a reported dollar sign, one for full stop and line. Harry and Meghan, they announced earlier in the year that they wanted to step back from their positions as senior royals and become financially independent. A summit of senior royals was convened by the Queen at Sandringham to discuss the issue, with Harry sitting down for talks with his grandmother the Prince of Wales, and the Duke of Cambridge. It was later announced they would no longer be working members of the monarchy, would split their time between Canada and the UK, with the majority in North America. The couple's appearance comes just days after Omid Scotty claimed Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will return to the UK to resume their charity work once lockdown travel restrictions ease. A co-author of biography, Finding Freedom, currently the best-selling book in the UK, said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will undertake trips to Britain in both a private and professional capacity. Speaking to Royal Central, Scotty said the couple loved to get out there and be active in the field. He explained, Harry and Meghan have made it clear that their work in the UK including their royal patronages, will continue. While their base will be in the U.S., I think once travel restrictions ease, we will see them moving around again and undertaking trips to the U.K., both privately and professionally. He added, A lot of the work they already started, including all four of Meghan's patronages, are right here on British soil. But despite Stubby pointing out the Queen has told the couple, who stepped down as senior members of the firm in March, that the door is open. He said he doesn't believe they'll return to the UK as full, time working royals. He told the publication. Another report. Fans think Meghan Markle could have been more patient with the royal family. Things seem to move quickly with Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. She first met Prince Harry in 2016 and the couple announced their engagement a year and a half later. Then, they tied the knot in May 2018. However, by early 2020, Meghan and Harry had decided to step down from being senior members of the royal family. While many followers could see Meghan had a difficult time being a royal, some fans now believe she might have been too impatient when she decided to leave. Meghan Markle was reportedly frustrated with the royal family. Ever since news came out about Meghan dating Harry, she has been the subject of many negative news reports. 
Royals often do not comment on what the press and the public are saying about them, so Meghan was expected to keep quiet as well. However, court documents obtained revealed that Meghan felt unprotected by the royal family, especially when she was pregnant and dealing with negative media reports. Furthermore, a new biography about Meghan and Harry, Finding Freedom, shared that she sometimes struggled to adapt to the traditional royal family with its many rules and customs. Why some fans think Meghan Markle was too impatient. Some fans believe that, while certain complaints Meghan reportedly had about the royal family were valid, she was too quick to leave the institution. These fans believe that, had Meghan and Harry stayed, they could have been a real force for change in the monarchy, but that would also require many years of hard work and dedication. One fan said, I know that Meghan was probably frustrated by how long it took for things to get done. I can understand coming in with all these great ideas and feeling frustrated when you hit hurdles and how that can feel very stifling. Whether it's the British royal family or with another charitable organization or foundation, there are systems in place that you're going to have to work around and red tape that's going to frustrate and slow down your great idea. Meanwhile, another person called Meghan impatient and pointed out the flaw in her and Harry's alleged desire to make money off of giving speeches. The person said, Right now, they are just being influencers. I think Meghan is very impatient, too. There were many projects that she could have tackled to make a huge difference for the communities involved. Right now, her CV is too weak to be giving the kind of talks she wants to give. She lacks the substance to be taken seriously. You need years of unglamorous groundwork in social service that often goes unrecognized to give your words weight. She didn't do that, and now she sounds like an entitled celebrity that makes you go, wow thanks, I'm cured. Other fans also believe Meghan Markle misunderstood how the royal family works. Since both royals and celebrities get a lot of attention from the public, many people might assume royals function in a similar way to Hollywood stars. However, royals work to serve the public and the monarchy they are embedded in. Meanwhile, celebrities are often all about promoting their own self-interests in order to further their career. Fans believe Meghan might have assumed the royal family works the same way as the celebrity world she came from. This could explain her reported frustration with the monarchy. One fan said, My random theory is that Meghan thought the British royal family cares about media attention and popularity in the same way as celebrities. I think she looked at Diana's fame, saw how William and Harry benefited from that, and thought that if she made a big splash and was really popular, she could use that popularity to make some changes in the British royal family. Another person agreed, pointing out that Meghan might not have understood that royalty is a different level of ball game compared to her Hollywood world. The person said, So many elementary mistakes. Like thinking you can profit off royalty, not understanding your position in a hierarchical organization, thinking you can be progressive politically in a traditional organization. She's like someone who got a promotion to a role they can't handle, but who was doing their previous job just fine. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.